Congratulations, Android users. Now you too can get the stink eye from suspicious grocery clerks all over the United States. According to the official Android blog, Android Pay will start rolling out their tap to pay smartphone payment system today at over 1 million locations across the United States. There will surely be some hiccups and the aforementioned suspicious clerks who are not yet aware that the future is here. But I, for one, welcome mobile payments in all their time-saving glory. Android Pay works with all NFC-enabled Android devices running KitKat 4.4 or higher on any mobile carrier. The app will also store your gift cards, your loyalty cards, and your special offers. In other rollout news, Microsoft announced that Office 2016 will be out on September 22nd. And the newest version of the Mac OS, El Capitan, will be available on September 30th. A few weeks ago, we told you that an unnecessarily restrictive drone bill was headed to Governor Brown's desk here in California. Senate Bill 142 would have prohibited people from flying drones lower than 350 feet above private property without getting permission first. The bill was meant to address valid privacy concerns, but it was a bit overreaching, in my humble opinion. Governor Brown vetoed the bill today, saying that he believed it would have unintended consequences. Brown recognized the novel issues that drones bring up, but said that this legislation would have exposed hobbyists and FAA-approved commercial users to burdensome litigation. Mashable says that for the first time, cord cutters can watch the upcoming Republican debate live for free. If you're into that sort of thing, CNN will stream the Republican presidential debate on September 16th, and you don't need to have cable to watch it. You can also watch it on any device with a web connection. This is obviously very considerate of CNN from a political awareness perspective, but the last debate was also quite a not-to-be-missed show that brought in 24 million viewers.